What's up guys, Mad Exotic here, um, I'm doing another video on my gecko, I do have my gecko now, um, a baby, leopard gecko, I'm not sure what it is, what type it is yet, but you're probably wondering why I'm doing another, I'm doing another care sheet here, but I'm doing that because the last one, it was terrible, you can admit that guys, and I'll just get started on the health of um, your gecko, and well health of you and your gecko. I recommend that you get hygienic gel, instant hand sanitizer, so you don't have to um, go to the bathroom and wash your hands. You just, and I'll just show you right now, guys. You just what you do is just squirt it on like that, and then turn it away. And just rub your hands, so they're nice and clean before and after you hold your gecko. Because if you're going out, playing out, picking germs off the floor or whatever you're touching, you're gonna. And if you come in and not, you wash your hands and touch your gecko that's going to catch a germ and you don't want that so i'm just telling you about that and there's another one that i recommend as well fast acting um antibacterial gel S same thing you do not have to go to wash get water you with this just the same thing as that you can put that there and i have four of these because my mum bought me them because she, she's scared that one of us is going to catch some disease or something but yeah, this is just a spray I spray that in the um, finger to get the humid, humidity and just to get it nice and um, load of water in there for it. And you just spray that now on there. Um, and I start on what it eats first. I feed this in locust just now, size three, as you can see that there, guys. Size three. Um, um, locust. Very good. I'm not feeding it on mealworms just yet. See, they won't be able to digest it yet because it's only a baby, they're too young to sex and all that stuff. So, I don't, I don't know if it's a female or male. And I'm just going to tell you a bit about the nutrition. This is very, very important. You need this for your left gecko so they can get healthy, big, and grow nice. But what I do is I put a bit of this into this jar. And what I do, I put two locusts in, just mix them up, get it nice and loads of. Um, nutrition all over the body so when, when I put them in the cage the um, gecko can get all the nutrition and I do for this even more extra nutrition I just get a bottle lid as you can see um, and put a bit of that so it can lick it up now and then when it wants to um, let's get the fry we'll start getting onto the cage guys this is just an old wooden cage um, I'm not sure the size of it because I'm, I'm, I've just got this if you watch my previous video, I'll just show you that my sister's just going to show you the um, layout. As you can see, it's got a water dish. Um, it needs to drink, obviously, exoterra water dish there. And I've not got a food dish, you're wondering why. If you can just get a food dish, first it's going to take up space. And if you put locusts in the food dish, they're just going to jump out anyway. So there's no point in buying one, save your money. And I've just got loads of plants in this, not real plants, but fake. Because to make it nice in there, to make it feel like it's in the wild or at home. And this is going to zoom out now. Um, that's all you need to know, guys. But I'm going to start um, getting inside and I'll show you my leopard. After all, like I did wash my hands before I was getting this out. Like I said, it's only a baby. So be very careful with it. You don't want to, if you know what I mean. It's very fast of jumping the babies, so you can see guys if you're gonna pick up a leopard gecko, um I just cup it like that so it feels like he's not gonna be hurt or anything and never ever ever pick it up by the tail because they, they can just let go of the tail and you don't want that happening. Even though it will grow back but there's loads of things where it can get infected and stuff like that and you have to take it to the vet so I don't recommend it but I re um, I'm going to say about the age I recommend this guys if you're not getting any help by your parents I would say 12 and over if you're on your own doing this but if your parents are mostly looking after it you should be fine and there's loads of care sheets you need to use around, out and about on books if you're just getting into um, reptiles this is my first reptile I got it a couple of days ago um, it's called Leo, or if it's a girl, it's Chloe. I just don't know because it's too young to sex, obviously. Um, I'm not sure the um, what type it is yet. 
because I'm, I'm not too smart of them yet, but I do know um, quite a lot about graphic depots. So I did do a lot of researching, and my cousin has um, experience with reptiles. And if you see me other video, I I was feeding a corn snake, a pinky mass. I thought that was quite fast, but he didn't really. He said that he didn't really do a big strike, but that was that. If you can write in the comments what type it is, you can just see there, guys. And um, if you're gonna handle your leopard gecko, don't do it too often. Just leave it, and you do know these are nocturnal, so you like to sleep in the day and come out at night. All right, and I'm just gonna show you. Put this guy back in. Let her crawl in, don't pick her up and put her in, just let her crawl in. Um, and after that, you just wash your hands with this, but I'm not going to do it straight away because I'm still going to be touching a bit of the cage. As you see, under it, there is a heat mat. This keeps the leopard gecko warm. You don't need a heat lamp because leopard geckos in the wild would go and burrow in the day so they'd get the heat from the belly and not from the top so the, um, the best getting a heat pad not really a light because you don't really need a light at all it's getting its belly heat from the heat pad so that's good for a sub substrate um, as you can paper towels not sand because in sand um, they could eat it when they're picking up a lot of um, the food and all that stuff where it can suffocate it inside and block stuff um, I've been going around these days but <coughs> some people it's 50 50 for some people have had leopard geckos for all their lives and not had a problem but some people have had um, loads of problems and that should be it guys really when it gets older I'm looking forward to that but I need it night I'm getting it nice and fat at the moment um, and this that should be it really um write in the comments if you need to know anything else or you know that i'll leave a like and comment and subscribe i will appreciate that and well see you later